Hello everyone, today we're going to see lesson 12b, Gossip is good for you. Bien, vamos a empezar aquí. En el número 1 dice speaking and listening. A, read the dictionary definition and then answer the questions. Gossip, it's a verb and a noun to talk about other people, especially their private life. So, these four questions, what kind of people gossip more? Who do people most often gossip about? Do you have any friends who gossip a lot? How do you feel when people gossip about? Bien, estas preguntas las van a responder en Schoology, en el post correspondiente. Bien, entonces siempre guíense, será one speaking and listening letter A y ahí van a estar eh, todas las preguntas. Esto lo van a hacer por escrito en Schoology. Sobre todo me interesa 3 y 4, ahí tienen para expandirse. Ok, let's continue with 1B. Listen to a conversation between Rosemary and Iris. What has happened to Jack and Emma? Listen again and answer the questions. Bien, estas dos actividades, B and C, eso sí lo van a hacer en mensaje de audio, lo envían por Schoology. Ok, entonces vamos a escuchar aquí. Hello, Rosemary. How are you this morning? Hello, Iris. I'm fine, thanks. But you'll never guess what's happened. Jack and Emma have broken up. No. Jack and Emma from next door? That can't be true. I saw them last week and they looked really happy. No, it's definitely true. I heard them shouting. They were having a terrible argument. No. When? Last night, after he came home from work. What did they say? Well, I wasn't really listening. Of course not. But I couldn't help hearing. She was talking so loudly, and of course, the walls are very thin. So what did they say? Well, she said that she was going to stay with her mother. She told him that she wouldn't come back. Oh, how awful. What about the children? She said she'd taken them to her sister. I suppose she'll take them with her in the end. And anyway, then five minutes later, I saw her leaving the house with the suitcase. No. Why do you think she's leaving him? Is he seeing another woman? I don't know. Oh, here's my bus. I have to go and tell Mrs. Jones from across the street. She always thought there was something, something strange about him. Okay, so that is. And now we continue with letter C. It says, now listen to what Jack and Emma really said last night. Was Rosemary right about everything? 5.22 Hi, Emma. I'm back. Where are you? I'm upstairs in the bedroom. I'm packing. Why? Where are you going? I'm going to stay with my mom. What happened to her? She's had an accident. She fell on the street yesterday and she's broken her leg. How awful. Poor thing. Can I help you with anything? Actually, yes. Could you get my small suitcase in the closet? How long do you think you'll have to stay? I won't come back until the weekend, I don't think. I'll have to make sure she's okay. I've taken the children to my sister's for the night, and she'll take them to school tomorrow morning. Can you pick them up after school? Of course I can, honey. Now don't worry about anything. We'll be absolutely fine. And here's your suitcase. Thanks, dear. The taxi will be here in five minutes. Right, so it's a completely different story, right? Okay, let's go to grammar here, number two grammar, and we are going to see reported speech. Bien, here are some extracts from the conversations. What Emma said. Esto es lo que Emma realmente dijo. I'm going to stay with mom. I won't come back. I've taken the children to my sister. And number two, what Rosemary and Iris said. Esto es lo que las vecinas, ¿no? Rosemary and Iris, dijeron. 
She said that, miren cómo cambia, she was going to stay with her mother. She told him that she wouldn't come back. I won't come back. Oh, how awful. What about the children? She said she'd taken them to her sister. Bien, entonces podemos ver que cuando nosotros reportamos, ¿no? Por ejemplo, ella me dijo que, o ella dijo que, el verbo cambia. Esto es lo que Emma said. I'm going to stay with my mom. She said that cambia el pronombre. She was going to stay with her mother. Entonces cambia también el objeto. Aquí el verbo se va al pasado. De I'm going se va a was going. Vámonos a la página 148, grammar 148. Uh -huh. Rápidamente. Y vamos a escuchar esta parte de reported speech. Ok. 5.23 I love you. He said that he loved me. I've just arrived. She said that she had just arrived. We'll come at 8. He told me that they would come at 8. I don't want to go to the party. Jack told Anna that he didn't want to go to the party. Ok, entonces podemos ver cómo cambia el verbo. I love you, he said that he, ¿no? Cambia, loved me. Entonces todo va a cambiar al pasado. Aquí tiene un cuadro con los verbos y modales importantes. Cam, and watching, will, en este caso met, have broken. Miren cómo cambia, I had broken. Met, el pasado simple cambia al past perfect, have met. Will cambia a would, and watching cambia a was watching, y el can a could. Bien, algunas... Eh, algunos comentarios. El reported speech se usa para decir lo que otra persona nos dijo. ¿no? Por eso generalmente es el chisme, ¿no? Ah, me dijo que, ella dijo que. ¿Qué más? Usamos el said or told. After said or told, that is optional here. He said that he loved me. Este that es opcional. Y finalmente los pronombres cambian. I'm tired. She told me that she was tired. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces vámonos aquí a nuestra lección. Which is 94. Bien. It's here. We have a few exercises. Dice. Listen to some sentences in direct speech. Say them in reported speech. Bien. Esto de aquí lo vamos a hacer. También como audio. 5.24 1. I'm in a hurry. She said that she was in a hurry. She, she said, said that she was in a hurry. Two. I'll write. He said that he would write. Three. I didn't see it. She said that she had seen it. Four. I'm hungry. He said that he was hungry. Five. I'll be late. She said that she would be late. Six. I've finished. He said that he had finished. Seven. I'm coming. She said that she was coming. Eight. I'll do it again. He said that he would do it again. Nine. I had a great time. She said that she had had a great time. Ten. I'm tired. He said that he was tired. All right. <clears throat> Let's continue here. <clears throat> Sorry. With vocabulary. 
Number three, vocabulary, say or tell. Se es complete the sentences with the right form of say or tell. Bien, esto aquí lo van a completar. <coughs> Post en el muro de Schoology. Y continuamos con pronunciation. Tenemos double consonants. Se es look at five groups of words. Match each word to a vowel sound. Entonces pueden ver aquí que es entre A y A. Right, E, E. And finally, O. Right. And here we have, for example, gossip. College, dollar, and so on. Okay, vamos a hacer este ejercicio para que ustedes hagan el listening y lo chequeen en sus libros. Okay. 5.25 1 D Cat A Happy Married Cabbage Rabbit Baggage 2. B. Up. Uh. Luggage. Funny. Runner. Summer. Butterfly. 3. C. Fish. It. Written. Miss. Bitten. Different. Different. Middle. Four. E. Egg. E. Letter. Better. Message. Umbrella. Tennis. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Entonces aquí nos dice que the vowel sound before a double consonant is normally short when it is a stress, is a, is a stress syllable. Ejemplo, gossip, luggage, written, etc. Bien, finalmente tenemos aquí lo que es reading. Tenemos aquí el reading. Dice, here's a secret. Gossip might be good for you. Ok, entonces realicen esa actividad, la lectura y la... Las actividades están aquí, A, B, and C. Read the article and mark the sentences, true or false. Look at the highlighted words. Try to guess the meaning. Do you agree with what the article says about the way men and women gossip? Uh -huh. Esto de aquí va a ser un post en school. Okay, entonces ahora estén atentos. Y acuerden, hoy a las 8 y 30, de 8 y 30 a 9 tendremos la llamada vía Zoom.